Hello everybody, it's Wistel here and today we are doing a tutorial on basic Audacity audio editing for gaming videos. So I'm doing a tutorial today because I am a bit fed up of seeing people have really good entertaining content but they've still got that annoying background noise that their audio quality isn't quite as good. I've been told mine's alright so I'm going to just show you what I do and then if, if you want to do that then uh, you can copy me and hopefully your audio will be pretty good as well. So we're using Audacity which is a free program so the link will be in the description to download, it's free, it's very powerful, it's very good. Have a go. So when you start recording your game, you want to record your audio, your audio. You can either record it in your recording software or you can record it directly in Audacity. Either way, you're going to use Audacity to edit it. So what we're going to do to get rid of the noise, we're going to set up a sort of um, a baseline that Audacity will recognize as the, the background noise in your room, which will be uh, computer fans, it will be sort of electrical hum from any hardware you've got on, all that sort of stuff. It's in every room, but you don't want it in your video. So you click record. You don't want any noise at all. You don't want to make any noise. You just want the room's noise. So you don't want your chair to squeak. You don't want to sniff. You don't want any of that. You want to stay still. And if you have to, you've got to hold your breath. Just have five seconds of silence. And that will allow Audacity to remove whatever noise it does pick up from the rest of the track without removing your voice or your chair squeaking, which will distort the thing. So you click record, and we will allow five seconds or more of silence. So I'm going to click record. Okay, so now I'm speaking, you can see my waveform starting. You notice this isn't an empty area. There is a thick line, which is just the background noise. So it's picking up a hum. So if we just listen to that back. Okay, so now I'm speaking, you can see my waveform starting. You notice this is... Okay, so it's not, it's not too severe. So it can be if I'm playing a game or something and my computer's having to work for it, um, that will be a lot louder. But I... I just trust me, there is there is noise there. So what we're going to do is we are going to tell Audacity that this is noise you want cut out. So you select the track, just left click and drag. The five seconds, there's nothing there but the room's noise. You go to effect at the top. It's a thing called noise removal. I think in later versions it might be noise reduction, but noise removal, you click that one and you want to click get noise profile. So this is Audacity. So it says here, so Audacity knows what to filter out. So this will be the baseline Audacity will cut out the rest of it. So you click get noise profile. It will think about it and it will say to itself, yeah, this is what we want to cut out. So then you want to select where you want to remove it from. So you can either just deselect and apply it to the whole track or control and A, select the whole thing and click effect. Go back to noise removal. But instead of clicking get noise profile, you've already got the noise profile. Go to OK and then it will cut it out. So you see the thick line's gone. It, that's silence now. That's nothing. So if we listen to it back. Okay, so now I'm speaking. So there's no background noise and there's nothing. You can't see the audio levels jumping up and down because there's nothing to listen to. So the next step is now you've got rid of all the background noise. You can hear my voice still sounds all right. My waveform starting. You notice this isn't an empty, but there's a problem. See, some of the peaks are quite high, some of them are quite low, especially if you get really excited. Some bits will be loud. Sometimes you kind of mumble to yourself a little bit. It's not quite as high. The audio is kind of all over the place. You want a more level sound. So what we're going to do there, again, you either deselect or select the whole track. You're going to apply it to the whole thing. You want to click effect and go to compressor. Now what this will do is it will reduce the big peaks a little bit. So this will come down and all the little peaks will come up a bit. So it'll create a more average volume and then it will amplify the whole track a little bit. So it should level it off. Now you can mess around with all these settings, but the default ones honestly work for me. So if I click okay here, it will compress them. So it will squash down the big ones and bring up the little ones. Okay, that was maybe not the best example. You can see it more here that they're more leveled out, right? And then it'll be all be louder, a bit punchier. Okay, so now I'm speaking. You can see my waveform starting. You notice this isn't an empty, and the audio levels here are much level. They're not jumping up and down as much. And then you go file, export, and you can save it exactly how you like. Okay, and then when you've done that, you can take your track and put it into Audacity, not Audacity. Your video editor. So you open up your video editor. I use Sony Vegas. So I've got here my an old uh, Shadow of Mordor recording. So I've got my voice track down here. So we'll call that voice. Oh, we've got the game track here. So we'll call that game. Uh, one thing you'll note is the game you will take the grave walkers really head. Does he not notice? The and it'll kind of drown out my voice. So what I'm going to do is you can 
click and drag this down, change the volume level, or you can go here. Uh, we'll cut down by 10. You will take the grave walker's head. And it'll be much more yeah, pleasant to listen to. But of course, this track still has all the background noise in it and all that. We want to take that out, so you cut out whatever you had, and you want to put in the new one, which I will prepare for you now. Okay, so this is a much better example. So you see, this is the audio track from my Shadow of Mordor recording. This is my voice. You can see the noise is a lot more severe here. You can hear that. You can hear the hum. So what we do is we go to the silence at the start. All right, so that's the silence at the start. So you select all that. It's quite a hum. Listen to that. All right, so you go to effect, noise removal, get noise profile. Then you select the whole track. Once you've got the noise profile, go to effect, noise removal again, click OK. That will process all the background noise through the track. Just wait for it to do its thing. The longer the track is, the longer it will take to process. Right, once the noise removal is done, we go effect, compressor, and then you squash down. So you should be able to see it here. This one's really, really quite uh, long, and this one's not quite as long, so they should get slightly closer together, giving that more level output. When you've done all that, uh, you export it and you put it in your editing software. So I've got my editing software here. Um, this is the track with all of it edited. So I put it in, I synced it back up. You go to the point where you've used up all your silence to get to the start of the video. You cut that off and it'll have no background noise anywhere throughout the track and it will be slightly more level. Hello everybody, welcome back to Shadow of Mordor. So as always, I'm Wastel, uh, and there you go, so there's no background noise, it's all synced up. It's not, it's too loud in two places, it's not too quiet in other places, it's very level, very easy to do. And of course, in your editor you'll have its own, uh, if you want to tweak a few bits, like in Sony Vegas you've got this thing where you can adjust uh, particular levels of audio by going up or down, if that bit's a bit too loud you can do it that way, make it to body, and that'll dip it down. And of course, if you're lazy, you can just split it and drag it up and down like that. And if it's too quiet, is there a bit that's any that's particularly quiet in here? Uh, not really, but let's see this bit. If that bit's too quiet, you split it, you right click, switches, normalize. And see it spikes up a bit, it's that little bit louder. And you can tweak it. So there's no excuse for having bad audio. This is it. That's all I do. Of course, there are more effects and audacity. You've got... Um, pitch shift, you've got normalization, you've got hard limiters, you can all, that's more advanced stuff, to be honest, if you just want decent audio editing, a natural sound, this is what I do, and that's how I come to my, this is how I sound. So if you like how I sound, and you think, oh yeah, that sounds better than mine, this is super easy, Audacity is free, easy to use, just record in that, edit in that, export it, put it in your editor, you're done. So thanks very much for watching, that was Audacity, basic audio uh, editing for gaming videos so thank you very much so thumbs up the video please and leave a comment tell me what you thought and subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next one so thank you very much for watching goodbye